Michelle is meticulously planning our last day in Chicago. <laughs> she wants to do a bakery tour. So she has carefully plotted a course to all these bakeries. To probably. all of those bakeries. So here and we're going to be are my lists of lists. So all of these bakeries this was the most extensive list right here. Right here, most extensive list. There is only one shop we're gonna go to that is not on multiple Chicago lists, and that is Les Boulangeries. However you say that in French, how do you Wait, say let's that? let's see. La Boulangerie. La Boulangerie, because I want to try what a true French croissant should taste like. They import their flour from France, they grind their flour. They do everything like there. And so I want to see what would they consider best. And it says you should absolutely take some brioche and sourdough home. It's amazing. Sweet. So, well, we may be doing that. So that we are going to go to places that not just have like sweet treats, but also have good breads and things like that. Because today is a gluten-free day for me. And um, we have Thanksgiving next week. So I'm going to get some bread for Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we're going to be heavily, heavily leveraging the Chicago Transit Authority today. Mm -hmm. We're going to be getting our money's worth out of those day passes. Yeah, and we're probably going to be super sleepy because we're eating a lot of bread today and well, sweets. But there's more than just bread and sweets at these places. Well, we might even, dare I say, forego baking an apple pie and get one from Bang Bang. They have full pies. You have to pre-order them, but they do have them. Well, we might need to do that because Bang Bang Pies and Lost Larson are on every single Chicago list. They're about the only two. Sweet. So we will not not go to those two. Okay. Well, we may have to sprinkle in some coffee places. They all have coffee. Most of them do. Cool. You'll be fine.
that the eclairs are a great thing to try and that their breads are actually what they are known for. So we're gonna try this, like their bread and their croissants. So Matt's croissant's gonna come out in a minute. Do you wanna try it too then? Of course, yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's try it out. I'm gonna have this bite. in the inside of it. It's got nice um, amount of filling to the ratio of the bread on the outside. Normally when you get an eclair, it's like just a teensy bit of like subpar filling. It's like a bunch of like bread. And so this is a fantastic, and the chocolate is like a nice dark, not too bitter. Um, perfect amount of sweetness. I've never had an eclair like that. It's so good, isn't it? <clears throat> that boost is something special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I just love how, how it's like. The bread isn't so cakey and dense. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice and light. It's, it's so great. It's stiff, but it's soft, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. You know, like yeah. it holds its shape, but when you bite into it, it's really tender. Yeah, soft. Um, I'll have the last bite. Mm. Wow. All right, so this is their classic croissant. It's got egg, Swiss cheese, ham on this house-made croissant. It's kind of warm. I might give it a second to cool off. I can tell you the croissant's good. I just tasted a tiny bit of it. Talk about it. Let it cool down so, for a second. Super flaky. Very buttery. It's not really crunchy at all. It's like super soft. And most croissants have like a crunch, almost like a, a crunch that like tears up the roof of your mouth if you eat too much of it, you know? This doesn't have that. The egg is cooked perfectly. Ham tastes delicious, great cheese, and it's piping hot. It's all about the croissant, though. Yeah, but the cro croissant is definitely the star of the show. And I am currently eating these scraps. They're nice and crispy and fantastic. Mm. I want you, I'm going to take one more bite, and I'm letting you get a bite out of the middle. Okay. Well, you pretty much ate the whole middle. because I was eating it and I was like, it is crunchy. It's got a nice crispiness to it, but it's not like this weird, it's crispy, flaky crispy, not like crispy, um, like a hard exterior piece of bread, like a sourdough or something like that, which a lot of, that's what you're saying. It doesn't have this like thick crust you gotta somehow get through. Yeah. Mm. Look at the lamination right here. You can tell like how detailed it is because look, this right here is just, that's two layers alone right there. And you can see there's tons of them in here. Each one has a nice crisp to it. Look at that. Look at the detail of that right there. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm. Wow. Wow. Super good, right? Yeah. One of the reasons I picked you guys is because of how, like, where you get all your ingredients from. And okay. I was yeah. like, so I was like, it's gotta be great. Yeah, I mean, like I said, for uh, all of our products, we try to get our product from France. So the butter from France, the flour from France. Uh, we've been working the whole summer to try and perfect, like, the perfect response. Like, it, it's been a work in progress for sure. It's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, thank the, you. the fruits of your labor are well received. Yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll say that. let the bakers know for sure. Definitely. I was looking everywhere and I was like, you know, there's not really anybody that's done a good, like, 
what is it really like? What's the good stuff? And I'm like, there's just all these generic lists. And I'm like, but why do you think it's the best croissant? <laughs> you know? yeah. Why is the sourdough so good? Tell me why. Like, yeah. If you bake, then you kind of want to know. Like, yeah. is, the, is like the layers really good on the croissant? Like, is the crunch perfect? Like, why is it so good? So this is cool. Yeah, I'm excited to like try everything. I can only speak to our bread and then use like all like Midwest local yeah. grains. I mean, we, we have our starter here. It's delicious. Mm. It's our ciders. We just brought it out to us. How is it? I haven't tasted it yet. I, oh, okay. She literally just came here five seconds before you walked in. Okay. Um, Go ahead. I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, that's good. It's very apple-y. Mmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You can tell it's fresh apples. Mm-hmm. And... Cinnamon rolls come Oh, over. perfect. Oh, Thanks. thank you so much. So, the thing about uh, this place is there's no sign outside the building. So, it's almost like this secret kind of place, like, because you don't know what it is. Um, there's no hours of operation or anything yet. I mean, it looks like they're still building up the, the entryway. You can see all this. It smells like fresh cut lumber out here from all this stuff, but like, it's almost like this secret little location that's, you almost have to be in like a club or something to know that this place is even here. And... Looks like they got their own they, little middle brow. Yeah, they, what brew, is that? they brew their own beer. Okay. Um, they've got a few, a few different brews that they do. They uh, as, as the girl had mentioned that they have their own sourdough starter, which, uh, is cool because that's like their own unique thing. And we've got a cinnamon roll coming right now. Mm. Um, sourdough Here we mm. go. Oh wow. Look at that. That looks Did awesome. Oh my gosh. I think we're okay. Looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How close. Okay. So if we look, see how that's jiggling. This is like super look warm at that. and moist. So. Uh, yeah, oh, this let's... is like a vanilla. Oh man. Oh. Okay. It's cream cheese. Okay. You might not like it. Uh, I think vanilla bean meets cream cheese glaze. Okay. Uh, because a lot of times in icing like this. Oh, look at how gooey that is. It's not going to be. Oh gosh, I need a knife. Oh wow. This is fantastic already. And this is their sourdough. So I was just saying, talking about their sourdough. Okay. And if and if anybody who's a bread person knows, a sourdough starter is basically this culture of, um, you know, of of bacteria that mm. works on the yeast and turns it into sourdough bread. And every bakery that's worth their salt, pun intended, um, has their own starter. And this is made from their sourdough starter. I mean, look at how dense that looks. Very dense. Look at all that gooiness mm -hmm. coming out. I'm gonna try just this bite right here. Okay. I like wow. the very middle of a bite like this. Mm, me too. I don't know if that's the right way to eat it, but I just like it. Mmm. Mmm. Totally different. I don't know. If I've ever had a sourdough cinnamon roll, it's wonderful. All right, babe. My turn. Fork and knife out here. So I can already tell the texture is very dense. Like it looks just super dense. But it doesn't feel heavy in your mouth. Mm. It's definitely different. Like you can't be no. expecting like a Look, light, airy, flaky. Here, here's the thing. I'm not much of a cream cheese person, but oh no, I was gonna think you wouldn't like it. But this this icing is the cream cheese serves the icing. It's not the main thing. It's like a perfect component to this. So that with a vanilla bean. 
Yeah, the vanilla um, bean is really excellent in there. It's super creamy. And all, all the cream cheese does is just add a little bit of sharpness to it. Mm -hmm. But um, Good? This bread is so chewy and moist. It's moist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's definitely a different kind of cinnamon roll. But it's delicious. Like, yeah, it's totally unique. Yeah. Um, I bet that cinnamon roll by itself probably weighs about a, a pound and a half. No it's way. that dense. You think so? No. I'm exaggerating, but it's you could use it as a paperweight if you wanted to. True. A very delicious paperweight. That would get your paper all gooey and sticky. Michelle's in a hurry. Because we think this place is gonna close. Look at her, she's trying to <laughs> run walk. We're gonna get here one minute before they close. Okay. Well, we didn't make it. Nope. It was 2.59, but on the door it said, we're closed. So maybe they closed early today? Yeah, I mean, possible. they probably closed when they run out, you know? Yeah, it's probably true. So, it's very possible. Maybe one day we'll be able to try the fabled Lost Larson. cinnamon roll I want to eat but on the flip side Matt typically doesn't enjoy like a cream cheese icing or that kind of stuff he loved it so I thought that was pretty awesome and that just goes to show that my palate might not be the same as your palate and so you can't not eat somewhere because I didn't like something yeah not eat somewhere because Matt didn't like something what you need to know is if you don't like dense cinnamon rolls, if you want like a more buttery, flaky, fall apart cinnamon roll, that is not the one for you. Yeah. Um, which is what I like. Here's, here's the so, thing. Here's the thing. It's not necessarily about what we say is good. It's not about what we say is good or bad. It's really all about the journey, you know? Try, try it for yourself. Right? That's the whole point of this adventure, is trying things. You don't Truthfully, like we were told, try their Pilsner, but I didn't know if I could handle a beer guess, yeah. with, with all of the other gluten that I'm consuming today, given the fact that I'm not supposed to eat this much gluten. But I was like choosing in my brain, what did I want to spend it on? So if you like craft beers, that may very well be the place for you to drop in because they had a, a, quite a selection of what they brewed. And that is what one of the guys had told us to check out. And they weren't offering their pizza. We also supposed to check that out. We did get their bread. We'll do a side later review the breads. 